I'm Kat Corbett on K-Rock, and joining me in studio is Gary Lightbody from Snow Patrol. Thanks, Gary, for coming in. Hello, Kat, how are you? Come on, people, come on. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. There's nothing like forced clapping. (laughs) Nothing quite like forced clapping. Welcome to North Korea. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Uh, You are. Now, anybody who's been paying attention uh, knows, you know, there's been a seven-year gap Mm -hmm. since records, and you've been really public about, you know, where that time went Mm -hmm. and and all of that. And, um, you know, after reading a lot of it and and realizing that stuff, your new album, Wildness, I'm like, uh, it probably should have been called To Hell and Back, (laughs) you know, (laughs) something like that, maybe. Um, well, I mean, there was, I didn't spend the whole time, you know, miserable by any means. No, I don't think Uh, you did, but um, I know that struggle and, and, you know, I can only imagine, you know, trying to put together the the pressure of creating music. You have a whole band that's depending on you. Like, what do those guys do when you're like, I'm up, guys? They didn't really know what I was going through until quite recently. Uh, Just, it was only really afterwards, I think, people started to go, hang on a minute, this record might be a little deep, you know? Um, Like, whoa, what's Gary up to? Yeah, so I think when the question started, they were like, are you okay? I was like, well, I think I'm probably going to have to talk about a lot of stuff um, in the interviews of this record, so we may as well well sit down and talk about it first. I never really let on, that was the problem, I never talked about it. Damn, Um, Irish, you just don't talk about your problems. Well, I mean, it's not as if I don't uh, ever complain. <laughs> it's, just that, it's just that I didn't really get that deep with it. You know? uh, I, I don't know if this is true because uh, um, there was a quote uh, from you about kind of leaving Ireland because of the drink culture that was going on over there. Um, um, no, pre- not really. I mean, I, 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 I actually went back to um, Northern Ireland uh, about eight years ago, and then my time was kind of divided between LA and, and Belfast mm-hmm. in that time. And I, it was only sort of living, spending more time in LA over the last couple of years and getting sober um, that really helped me. Now that I'm in a place where I can be, go to Northern Ireland, go to Belfast, go to my local pub, order a cup of tea. Nobody looks at me funny right. anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, whereas before, I think. If I tried to get sober in Belfast, it might have been trickier. Not impossible, but trickier. Um, and uh, that sobriety definitely helped the, helped the, the getting the record done. I think also more. the sunshine here is a mood lifter. I hate to put a lot of weight on it, but it really is. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, for sure it is. Um, and uh, it, yeah, it definitely, it definitely helped me a lot. And the people that I met here helped me a lot as well. You um, recorded this new album in Los Angeles. Um, yes, we t- recorded it uh, at the top of Topanga, top of the mountain. Okay. Uh, our Jack Knife Lee, our producer, has a great um, record. Has an amazing, uh, amazing studio up there um, attached to his house, and we, we recorded many times up there. Recorded the Tired Pony record there too. It was uh, it's an amazing place to record because in the studio normally you're in there and it's you're you're you know you're in a place with no windows and it's kind of a submarine life. Um, whereas up there, you can have doors, windows open, playing drums, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And nobody's bothered. I saw great pictures, because he, he did the Silver Sun Pickups uh, yes. album, and so they had kind of posted pictures, you know, with the pretty surrounding. It looked really peaceful, so I can imagine it was a great experience for you. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful up there, and it was uh, it's, it made, made a lot of d- difference. Um, I I know you'll come back and we'll, you know, I guess dive deeper into stuff when you have, uh, you know, a bigger tour planned over here. Um, I'm going to play the single uh, Don't Give uh, In and hopefully it's the um, edit because you drop a couple F-bombs because you're yep. really angry in the song oh, or something. Oh, super angry. Yeah, I'm a super <laughs> angry person. I uh, When you were talking about listening to lyrics, I, I, I love the line that, you know, stuck out. It's when you actually, in the, the other version that you are cursing, it says, don't fall in love with the way things work it will mess with your mind and that was like that was kind of like a slap in the face for me and I think will be for a lot of people when they hear it well yeah I'm proud of that line I, 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 I'm not 100% sure where it came from on the day because that record that song was written faster than any of those songs on the record if you consider that one of the songs a song called Life on Earth took five years to write this one took a couple of days so um, it's uh, that was more in keeping with the songs that I've written in the past okay Whereas a lot of the songs on the record, this record took a lot longer than that. I want to talk about Life on Earth for a second, Wayne, because that video is bananas. And then I started reading that you filmed it in the Swedish Space Center or something. The well, it's the European Space Agency in in Holland and just outside Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah. 
So what do they do there? Like, what's that? So they do everything there. They they send people to space. They send people to the International Space Station. They do research for space flight, for um, for engineering, um, for astrophysics. They do a whole smorgasbord. Um, you said Swedish, so I went Swedish. Sorry. Um, <laughs> of things uh, related to related to science and astrophysics, and um, we got to go around the whole thing, and um, we're we you know every single department we got like a tour by the, the the specialists there and a lot of the stuff you know obviously we're not astrophysicists so it kind of goes over your head but it's fascinating to to be in these environments there's one place we were in um that is this massive speaker because sound the sound that the rocket creates actually creates its own problems um for stabilizing the rocket you know it can oh, sound I, can actually yeah, the vibration, sound waves and vibrations can actually break a rocket apart right. so they they have this speaker system that goes up to 156 db <laughs> which just, um, which if you don't sorry, if I you just... don't know what the, the, that is <laughs> that is um that is the point that will um that if a human stood in the sound room, um, in the testing room, they would explode. <laughs> they would explode. That's how loud it is. That's how I feel sometimes when I'm at shows without earplugs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize, like, I knew that was loud, but I didn't realize a human could explode from that. Yeah, yeah, your internal organs would explode. Oh, my God, I want to go to this place. It sounds like so much fun. It's an amazing place, yeah, yeah. We didn't uh, stand in the in the crazy speaker place, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, the 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 video for anyone that's seen it is um, is shot in a in an actual um, replica of the International Space Station capsule, which um, which was which is in the they have a museum there as well. Oh, it's in the okay, museum. right. And it's we got to they were so good. They let us film anywhere we wanted to film, and it, it, they they were amazing. It was amazing, and it's a powerful video because you know you have the personal mixed in with. This obviously observation of Earth from the woman outside. and the child in that video is my uh, is the director's wife. Um, the director is one of my best mates, Brett Simon. Katie Simon is uh, his wife, and the kid that's um, the the little girl that's in it is Willa, and the g- girl that was about to be born in mm-hmm. it and is born in the video is Luna, and that's my goddaughter. Um, oh so wow! It's, uh, okay, yeah. It's sort of set in it as if it's my these are my this is my family, right? And they kind of they are, are in a way. So it's, yeah. there's a there is a there is a, a very an awesome connection. Yeah, I was wondering about that because it just kind of it was a very, it just resonated as that was your family and it is in yeah. a particular way. So I love that. Well, why don't um, why don't we get into this single "Don't Give In" and um, it's the first single off your uh, new album "Wildness." You're going to be back for another show. Uh, yes. Outside of Los Angeles. Many somewhere. more shows. Many more shows. Um, what would you like to, us to know about this track? Um, this song is the kind of the talisman of the record. This is the song. It took a long time to make the album, but this song was made maybe four years ago, and it, sh- it showed me, it reminded me that I could still write a song at times when I maybe didn't believe that um, it, yeah. entirely. And the message in the song helped me immeasurably. Excellent. It's Don't Give In, new Snow Patrol on K-Rock. Thanks for coming in, Gary. My pleasure. Thank you, Kat. 